it's raining right now uh, obviously um, I just pulled up right here I gotta make a stop thought I made this video uh, the video I'm supposed to put out right now is supposed to be I'm supposed to make actually it's supposed to be uh, mental mental discipline right and uh, it's, re it's a request and um, from uh, someone requested it John and uh, if you've seen John's comments read his comments man it's very insightful very just uh, very helpful I would I would find um, and sometimes they, they could be a little, a little long some people might might if you see that you might think that but worth the read all of his comments man I, I really appreciate them I'm really pre I appreciate all the comments in general um, but you know it, the, the the amount of effort and work you put into that is is really uh, something and uh, that guy should write a book <laughs> John you should write a book um, but uh, so before I do that I want to make a video on uh, or talk about something that I've touched on before but in uh, the light of some things that I've been going through uh, or dealing with in the past few days, few weeks, I guess, I thought it would be um, appropriate right now to talk about this. And, and it's, a, it's the concept of um, gratefulness, thankfulness, and the value the immense value in this and it's something that a lot of people perhaps don't incorporate into their lives and uh, and it's something that I suggest that you learn to do I was talking to a uh, somebody who was struggling uh, a few days ago and they were struggling with similar uh, symptoms of schizophrenia and uh, and they've been struggling for a while. Uh, it, they perhaps have something more on the line of schizoaffective, I guess. And they're just talking about how how much, pretty much how much of a victim they've been their whole life. And how, you know, they've not been giving anything in life. And everybody else seems to be given uh, all these talents, all these, you know, even myself, <laughs> you've been given all this. And, and I talked about the concept of learning to be grateful and thankful for what you do have, because, you know, uh, it's hard to say that, um, you know, when you look through their life and it's like, there's so much that you can be thankful for, but they were, they were resistant to the idea because they felt it wasn't validating uh, their suffering. And, uh, you know, when you spend most of your time or a lot of your time, your energy thinking about how miserable you are, how much you're a victim, how much life uh, is against you, God's against you, the world's against you, and it's, it's, uh, how much more of that attitude, that thought process, is it going to take for you to feel that you're validating your experience, or what you've experienced, you know, I mean, at some point, we have to say enough, and move forward, right and uh, that's what i was trying to get them to see but i know it's difficult with schizophrenia or this type of mental illnesses because you get stuck in this track of thoughts and it's like a hamster on a, on a wheel and you just keep going and going and even if you like sometimes it's hard to pull someone out of that and then even if you get out of it you see the uh, the, the the value in this and you, oh it's a great idea and you start doing it and then you forget a day or two you forget and right back into the same old thought something else happens and you just get caught up in it so it can be real difficult and sometimes people start it and end up stopping it for uh, re reasons of that sort but um, if you're somebody who maybe practice have more spiritual background um, Buddhism uh, Christianity uh, you know 
a lot of lot of uh, beliefs maybe even Muslim uh, you understand the concept of, of gratefulness and, and giving thanks and, and why it's it's so uh, important and uh, being somebody who read the Bible and um, still do from that times um, the Bible talks about offering uh, to God a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And it's so, the beauty in that, man, the beauty in that, what my, uh, the person who I was talking to uh, didn't understand was why it's called a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of thanksgiving is because you don't feel like it. When you're suffering, when you're going through that dark night, when you're going through that 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 storm, the last thing you want to do is be thankful, say I'm thankful. You know, there's so much staring you down, beating you down, and you have this fight on your hands, and to say to just stop and be thankful, it's a very difficult thing, but that's why it's a sacrifice. It takes effort. It takes work. It takes going against how you feel. And it's so powerful. At the same time, it breaks you out of that negativity. It breaks you out of staring in the darkness. You could stare at the light for a moment. Look at the good that you have. We have so much good in life. My wife sent me a video a little while ago about uh, a couple living like in the desert somewhere you know when they have to struggle for everything every day for food it's a it's 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 a struggle they up early trying to gather their things for the day and uh and if you watch these people live and struggle and they laugh they are grateful for what they have and they don't even have half of what we have not even half many of us and they understand the value in giving thanks learning to be content you know and it was such a great uh, uh, just moment just watching that and Knowing that I myself had to find, had to find that place where I could come to look at all the things I have and realize that, you know, schizophrenia, as miserable and tormenting as I, as it was, I still have so much to be thankful for. I had a roof over my head. I had food in my stomach anytime I needed. I had uh, shelter. I had clothes. I had family that were there for me I, and they would at some points they I did I'd go to the hospitals or the doctor uh, office and they'd care for me 24 7 in the hospitals food and everything you know places they give me everything medications and all this stuff to keep me alive to help me get myself, my mind back and so forth. There's so much we have to be thankful for. It's raining. And as much as, <laughs> as miserable as it is, as it is, you know, I'm thankful for the rain, you know. We definitely need it here in Alberta for forest fires has been going. So, you know, um, it's just, it, it, it's really a, a powerful tool that we have but we seldom use because we don't see value in it you know and it's such a shame it's such a terrible shame how we just we, we let this go to waste you know we stare at the darkness all day long all night long and to really take some time to look at the light look at the good and we often refuse to do so in favor of continuing to stare in the darkness and say we don't want it. We don't want to see it. We don't want to experience it. You know, it's very, 
um, but it's the way we've been taught. Offer up a sacrifice, thanksgiving, sacrifice of praise, man. This earth is given to us. None of us created it. We come here and it gave, gives us so much, so much. Right now it's giving us rain that we need, you know, air, the soil that brings forth life, the food that we need sustains our life. So much we have. And it becomes so difficult sometimes just to give thanks, you know. We always want, we want, we want peace. We want, we want the, the, the life we lost. We want to strive in life, to climb a lot of success, to get out there and do what everybody else is doing. We want, we want, we want, but do we want to give? Can we give? Offer up a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Give something back. Give and you shall receive. We don't know how to give. And if we don't know how to give, we don't know how to receive. There are two sides of the same coin. We must learn to give. We must learn to offer. All we want to do is take, 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 take. We want this. We want that. We want this. We want that. But we must learn to give, give thanks. Because if you cannot be grateful, be thankful for what you have, the good that you have, if you can't even see that, why should you get any more? Why? And it's a really important question that you should think about. It's real real and I and I hopefully I hope that you get it I hope that some of you understand it and um, and if you started it continue it it's like uh, you know exercise they say sometimes don't exercise to lose weight exercise uh, as a lifestyle right because if you exercise just to lose weight as soon as you the skills not moving you want to quit right so but if you make it a lifestyle part of your, part of your life then it doesn't matter you're going to do it now before you lose the weight or after you lose the weight. You're still going to do it. So you're going to continue with it, right? And learning to give thanks is a lifestyle. It's the same thing because even after you get what you desire, you're still going to give thanks. It's a lifestyle. Think about it like that, right? It's something we should do all the time. Okay, well, <laughs> I got to go shop. I'm going to pick up some stuff. Um, yeah. Until next time. Later.